So this will be a, a, a conceptual discussion of when a line integral over a vector field is positive, negative, or zero. Uh, so let's look first at this case because this in some sense is the simplest one. I have a vector field and the vector field is minus yi plus xj. And this is a vector field which sort of looks like it's spinning around everywhere it's in this kind of circulating motion. And if I go around a counterclockwise circle centered at the origin, and I do a line integral around that circle, that line integral computes how much I go with the flow of the vector field as I go around that circle. Now as I go around everywhere, the vector field is pointing in the same direction as my motion. I'm going with that vector field. And therefore, I should have a positive result for the integral of f dot dr around that vector field. Let's look at this one next. In this case, as I go counterclockwise around this circle, I'm always fighting against the vector field. It's always pointing kind of in the opposite direction of the way that I'm going. And so I should expect, inspect, expect a negative result for the integral of f dot dr. Now, let's come back to this one. This is a radial vector field, x plus, xi plus yj. In this vector field, as I'm moving around, everywhere the vector is perpendicular to my path. And so the vector field and the path are kind of indifferent to one another. I'm always moving straight across the vector. And so nowhere, nowhere in this path am I either fighting against or am I going with the vector field. So the total result is zero. The vectors are always perpendicular to the path. The last one is this one, and this one's kind of a combination of both. This is a constant vector field, i plus j. For this vector field, as I go around, there's different things that happen in different places. So up here, for instance, I'm kind of moving across the vector field. And as I start to go in this direction, I'm fighting against it. And so I'm getting a negative part for my line integral. Now I'm moving across it again. And now I'm going with it. So I'm getting a positive contribution. And because that negative contribution and the positive contribution are perfectly symmetric, it's just a constant vector field, I get a negative part and then a positive part. And they all add together to give me a total of 0. So this one has a 0 line integral. 